Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. F Dash here with F Dash TV. Another Honkai Impact third video for you. So for the next couple days, we're gonna take a look at the various characters that are in this game, and we're going to uh, we're gonna talk about them. We're gonna talk about uh, which ones are good, which ones are quote unquote bad. I mean, is there really a bad character? Yes. Um, they're all useful, right? Because there's, uh, as, as with most games, there's an early game, there's a late game, right? So let's start with the very first character you get, Kiana the White Comet. So, and I'm still early game, you know, I'm still like level 30-ish, I'm not in the 60s or anything like that, so I'm going to speak more from my experience here in the early game. Um, she is, she's okay. You know, she's not terrible, she's not the worst character you see, she's not, uh, she's not Battlestorm over here. <laughs> Um, this, I, and I like Battlestorm, you know. But um, this Kiana, she's decent. You know, she does decent damage. She she does uh, shield break, which is nice. Um, that's always good to, you know, break shields. She does additional damage to people who uh, she breaks their shields. That's really her main use is breaking shields and doing some damage to them. Uh, one of the reasons I would say go ahead and use her, other than the fact that you have to, uh, she's really easy to evolve. I mean, look, she's got four different hard nodes to farm. So you can get quite a number of shards for her or fragments in this game. Um, so she may, other than, you know, maybe pulling somebody, she may be, you know, one of your first characters that you get up to S. Because she is relatively easy to farm. I mean, okay, so 1, 2, really easy to get to. Hard 2, 12, eh, maybe that little bit of an investment. Heart S43, yeah, that, that one's going to take a little bit. And then, of course, she has the Supreme S3-4. That one might take a while. But overall, I mean, relatively easy to farm. And like I said, she's okay, you know. Um, she's okay. She's not terrible. I mean, you have to use her anyway, you know. And one of the reasons I like her is because she synergizes really, really well with the very first uh, May you get and the first Bronya that you get. So, I like her. You know, I've been using her a lot lately. Um, again, she breaks shields. Doesn't do a ton of damage. She's just, she's right there in the middle. You know, she's, she's okay. She's okay. Uh, one of the next ones is Valkyrie Ranger. Now, I was really, really high on Valkyrie Ranger. Mainly because she was my very first A. And I got her pretty early on with uh, one of the pulls. But, uh, she's not that good. She doesn't do a ton of damage. Right, I think, um, and I was reading online. I think she gets better in the late game because I think some of her abilities that you want are locked until she gets to at least S. Um, so either this blasting bullet or her star collapse. Star collapse sounds interesting. It extends the duration of the energy black hole, um, which is nice and increases the suction range. Uh, so right now it's at 10 seconds. So the cooldown is for 10 seconds. Uh, so it draws in all surrounding for 2 seconds. Uh, so it's going to increase that. Um, but yeah, she doesn't do a ton of damage. Maybe it's this one. Increases the whole team's movement at speed by 15% and a mecha, mecha character's attack speed by... I don't know. I don't know is right now she doesn't do a ton of damage. And I, I, you know, I'm not really even playing with her anymore unless I absolutely have to. Um, eh... I guess, like I said, she might be better in late game. Uh, early game, I don't I don't think she's really worth using. The, the, the other Kiana's a little bit better. But in terms of farming her, she does have three nodes. She's got 110, 33, three, and then 410. So, uh, she's got one less than the other Kiana, White Comet. And hers are a little further out, too. So, eh, I don't know. Like, I'm not going out of my way to farm Valkyrie Ranger. Eh. Eh, she's okay. I, I would put her under White Comet as the worst. Well, early game. I, early game, I think she's she's bad. I, like I said, I think uh, from what I was reading online, people are saying that she gets much better later on. So hopefully, as we get towards the late game here, she'll, she'll start to pick up some value. Now, uh, who I think is the coolest Kiana is this one. I mean, look at her name. Her name is freaking Night Moonbeam. And look at these like wings coming out of her back. So you can actually use this version of this character um, right now. So there's a uh, there's a uh, an event going on right now. Let's go to the world map here, where you can use these different versions of these characters. It's an event. 
uh, the first month combat test, right? So if you go inside here, there's you can actually use all the different. So I'm using Kiana uh, Night Moonbeam because she's so freaking awesome. She's like badass. Look at these wings, dude. These things are so cool. Um, she's got a great, great, great kit. I mean, her her super special attack is amazing. I I really really like it. I think she she's amazing. I just love her look, and she's I mean she is an S rank, right? So to get her, you will unlock her as an S, which is nice. Um, let's look at some of her abilities here. Her, her, where's her cutie here? Sir, her, that's not it. There, where's her cutie? Where is your cutie? Alright, so her cutie triggers when enemies lift into the air, kind of just like the other Kiana. Uh, dealing physical attack. Uh, stacks up to 50 times. That's freaking crazy, man. Um, I, so I really like her abilities. I, I really dig it. Her super special attack does like this giant... It's, she's, she causes the, the the execution. It's so damn cool. She jumps into the air. And she's got a cutscene and everything, and it drops like this. Pulls out this giant cannon and just shoots the world. It's it's so damn cool. I really really like her. She's really really good, right? Um, her evasion skills really really good. Um, I think her best thing, especially with her her normal attack. Let's look at her normal attack. Her basic attack, right? Uh, she fires all these scatter shots, dealing AOE damage. So I think I think that's really her her benefit is that she can she can plow through uh, you know bunches of enemies in, in no time at all, no time at all. Um, I think that's that she's really really good for that. So th I would say by far my favorite Kiana is Night Moonbeam. Just that name alone is is fantastic. And then the other Kiana that is available is not available in this version. Let's go back to the character select screen. So the other Kiana is more of a... Uh, well, let's look here. It's called the Divine Prayer. So she's, uh, she's the first psychic Kiana, right? She's a melee character with self-healing ability and high sustainability. Um, from what I'm seeing online, she's probably one of the best uh, Valkyries in the game at A rank. Um, because she heals, right? So her, her main thing is that she heals. Uh, we can't see her, her abilities here, but she does heal. So it's this holy light here, recovers whole team's HP. It starts at every uh, half second after learning this sub skill. Uh, healing, I, I would I would say, is, is really good, especially for places such as like the Abyss. Uh, healing is going to be a, a big deal. So, uh, let's see if there's anywhere we can find her. Oh uh, yeah, so she's got some nodes here, two, three, and then it's, she's in Supreme. So she's not going to be easy to get, unfortunately. Uh, but as one of the, well, not one of the, as the only Kiana who can heal, I think it's in in everybody's best interest to pick up this Kiana. So really. The, the one Kiana you kind of want to avoid is, um, at least in the early game, is going to be Valkyrie Ranger. Again, you're going to have to use White Comet, so might as well farm her anyway. Uh, she's pretty good. She's, she's decent. And then if you if you can luck out and get this Kiana, Night Moonbeam, who unfortunately is not farmable in any way, shape, or form, uh, because she's an S. Uh, if you can get either of these two, uh, I think you're going to be in, in some great, great company here with Kianas. So let me know in the comments down below what you think about the different Kianas in the game. Uh, any questions, comments, leave them down below. Otherwise, I'll see you next time on F Dash TV. All right, so I couldn't go without actually showing you this uh, Night Moonbeam's amazing ability here. So this is her AOE uh, normal attack. Check out this special though. This thing is so badass. Kablamo. Yeah!